Hey, Ryan Samson here with Accelerate Marketing. And today I have a great tip for you that has to do with you getting more leads. And I'm gonna show you exactly, like right from Google's own LSA API data, exactly what they say, what, how they define what they call a formula called phone lead responsiveness. And by the way, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not working with an agency that can give you this number, then you might wanna consider working with an agency that can give you your phone lead responsiveness number because this number is gonna tell you how effective your team is at answering the phone, how quick they are. And you'll see in one second here. So I'm gonna show my screen. This is LSA's API developer's guide. What we do as an agency, we connect to the bridge that allows us to connect to the data that all of our clients have within LSA. And with that, that connection that we make to Google local service ads, we are able to see a lot more information here. Like we can see the period total cost. We also get access to like exactly this right here. This is what I was telling you about, the phone lead responsiveness. Uh, you can see this is computed by taking the total number of connected calls from the charged phone leads and dividing by the total number of calls received, okay? So that might sound like a lot. And by the way, all these numbers are right here, okay? So you can see here the total number of connected calls. Here's the connected phone calls. Is the number of connected phone calls with a duration of over 30 seconds in a specified date or time range. And then you can see the charged phone leads. There is a uh, charged phone leads. This is the number of charged leads in a, sp a specified date range or period. And then dividing by the total number of calls received. Here's the phone calls, total phone calls. Number of phone calls in a specified date range period, both connected and unconnected. So this is a very important formula. And the reason why is because it can help you identify, you know, how well your team is doing in terms of answering the phone. Now, one thing I will say here is this is a formula that is a 90 day rolling average formula, at least in the LSA API. Okay. Yeah, in the in the data that you're able to get if you've got a programmer like we do that can allow us to connect to their full range of data. In your back office, if you just have a standard account, then you're not working with an agency that has access to the API, then you're not seeing all of the data that you can, okay? Now, what I'm trying to share with you here is, is that it shows in the API data there that it's a 90-day rolling average. Now, we've been told that it's actually a 60-day rolling average that Google pays attention to. So what does that mean? So what that means is if you're a plumber, an attorney, any one of the LSA job types, and I go over that in a previous video, all the different job types. So please watch that video. But if you're one of those companies that had a bad month or a bad week, maybe you had intake that didn't do well that week or that day, and it really made it so that you missed a lot of phone calls, which is what really Google wants to avoid. Google wants you to answer the phone because they can only charge you for these leads if you actually answer the phone, okay? So you've got to answer the phone. If, if you don't answer the phone, mm -hmm. then they can't charge you for the leads that they're sending to you. So you need to just pay attention to this number because this is what Google's paying attention to because it helps them determine who they're gonna send leads to because they're gonna send leads to the company that answers the phone the most often because that increases the likelihood that they're gonna be able to charge for those leads, okay? Again, if you had a bad week or a bad month, it's just gonna take 60 to 90 days, most likely for sure 90 days, but we've heard it, it only will take 60 days for those bad phone calls to work their way out of your average, which means that you can basically, for the most part, get a second chance every 60 to 90 days, okay? It looks like in the API, it's 90 days based on the formula. We've been told it's only 60. We've seen this. We've seen that a client has a bad week. Once that week gets washed out after a 60 day period or maybe a 90 day period, we see that there is a general increase in the number of leads that come back in again. And when those leads come in, you better answer the phone, okay? Because that's what's gonna improve your phone lead responsiveness number in that formula that I showed you from the LSA API. So I hope this makes sense. I'm gonna leave you on a little bit of a cliffhanger there, but a new video is gonna come out about this, about how you can make sure that all of your disputed calls get 
successfully disputed. So you get a, the biggest refund you possibly can. And by the way, we've seen now that you are able to dispute calls and we will let you know if the data suggests that you not dispute your calls. But everything that we've seen now suggests that you can dispute calls now without any deterioration in the number of leads that you're gonna get from LSA. So I just wanted to kind of dispel that as well. But anyway, I hope this makes sense. Answer the phone. It resets after 60 days or, or 90 days. And when you do get that reset, turn on as many job types as you can so that you can get as many phone calls as you can so that you can ultimately show Google that you're gonna answer the phone. Because the problem is, is that sometimes you don't get enough phone calls to prove to Google or it takes a long time. So you wanna get as many phone calls and make your team ready when that 60 day period is over and make sure they're ready. Like you've got a bat phone, you know, ready for people to answer. What we do is we set up call tracking, a call service to back up your intake team so that if they do get more calls than they wanted to, you've got a backup call service that will answer the phone so that you know that those phone calls are gonna be answered. That's definitely something that we can help you with. We work very closely with some very good call services that answer the phone. There are call services that we've used in the past that don't answer the phone every time. And that's not gonna help your phone lead responsiveness. You need to work with a call service that is going to answer the phone for you when your team cannot. And it's imperative that if you don't take those job types, that you decline that job on the phone so that when it's replayed for Google, they can listen to the call and hear that you actually turn the job down, okay? Very important that you guys do that if you truly don't take that job type, because if you're an attorney and you refer it out, or you say we're gonna call you back, then Google's gonna take that as a lead that you guys take and they're not going to allow you to dispute it. Okay. And I'm going to talk more about that in another call. So anyway, thanks. Hope you learned a lot. Again, answer all the phone calls, measure it. What you don't measure, you can't make better. Okay. And that's why it's important to be working with an agency that can give you these numbers like phone lead responsiveness with an agency that actually has access to the LSA API so that you know what's going on and you know if your team is answering the phone or not, and you can make those parameters better. Okay. Text me if you have any questions, 619-304-5155. 619-304-5155. I'll respond to you at least within 24 hours and most of the time immediately, okay? Thanks and make it a great day. Bye-bye.